Hello everybody, the Black Stealth here, and I'm going to show you how to install mods via MC Patcher. So you're just going to go to Google and type in MC Patcher, and it should be the stop link right here. Just going to click on it. Uh, this does get updated during the snapshots, so yeah. And you're just going to download it. Or not Windows only, because you're on a Mac, on all other platforms. So just click that. Wait for five seconds. And hit skip back. And then download. And if you get that. Okay, so MC Patcher, uh, it's basically a mod manager. And mod managers aren't always the best way to go, but um, they do have two advantages. They show you which mods you have installed and organize them all, and they also show you if two mods conflict with each other. So once you do it, once you open it, um, you're going to get this window up. Uh, if you don't want these things, just uncheck them. I'm just going to uncheck them right now. and then you're gonna hit this little plus button right here and you're gonna go find your mods um... and they have to be in zip format they can't be... you can't just have a folder there and then with all the classes in it they have to be in zip so um... so here I'll give you an example right here do. Say we have these two things. Actually, I probably shouldn't zip up the thing we're using. Okay, so say we have this thing, but when you downloaded it um, and unzipped it, it was actually a RAR file. Well, you want to put it into a zip format, so you just right click on whatever you want. Don't, ri don't do it on the folder. Right click on the actual item and hit compress. And then now it's in zip format. So just find a mod in zip format. Uh, we'll do too many items and just hit OK. Uh, let me show you that again. I did that kind of fast. So it'll show you all the classes that it's going to install. And if you didn't want, say you didn't want the image like right here. You can just click minus on it and just start deleting these classes that you didn't want to be patched with. Um, but I just want the thing. You're just going to hit the big patch button right there. And test Minecraft. So as you can see, we have too many items over here. Um, so yeah, if a mod doesn't work when installing it via MC Patcher, um, just install it manually. That will, that will most of the time always work unless two classes conflict. But if two classes do conflict, I'll show you what happens. So I know that um, mod loader. And Optifine conflict with each other. So if you do have a confliction, can conflict? I mean, uh, between two mods, you'll get this. So it'll say conflicts between the selected mods: mod loader and Optifine. VL dot class. That's a class that's conflicted, obviously. Only classes from Optifine. The yeah will be used. I'll uh, continue patching it anyway. Yes. But say this said, this way is the other way around. Only the classes for mod loader will be used. Well, I'll, I'll show you why that would happen. So say I didn't select mod loader first. Say I selected Optifine first. And then I went in and selected mod loader. Well, this is what happens. Only the fire files from mod loader will work, or will be used. And that means that 
Optifine won't work. So what you're gonna do if you have a mod that it says if it says like oh it, this mod requires like blah 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 Minecraft Forge and Mod Loader and GUI API and whatever before you install the mod, make sure you always um like put these on to the win. Make sure you always select these the those types of mods before you select the actual mod that has to be installed. If that makes sense, I don't think it does. But so yeah, we're just gonna show you that it still works. So you get this window, and then the files from Optifine will be used. Good. Hit yes. Test. And we have Optifine. So yeah. Thanks for watching.